Welcome back, folks, for Round 2 Action. I'm Randy. Still on the King of the Hill is Riley. Hey, thank you very much for the follow, uh, OP3N1NG. Picking up new players. Yeah, yeah, new followers. Thanks for following, as always. I know it's my man Christian, but, you know, trying to trying to do his... I, I don't know how you would say that. OP? OP3? Yeah. Anyway, um... We're, this time in the feature match, we have Green Black Elves, David... I don't know how to say his last name. Try to pronounce that for me. Ravellis? 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 Yeah, yeah well, we're I'll, probably butchering his name. We're probably butchering it. Yeah. it versus Riley. We're going to see who comes out on top. Uh, we're going to knock on the wall and let him know it is time to start. Green Black Elves versus Amulet Titan. Let's see if Riley can stay on there. Green Black Elves. Yeah, a collected company there. That's nice. Ooh, Riley has the turn one amulet. And we know how devastating that is. Actually, it looks to but, be maybe turn... Oh, yeah, it is turn one. He's going to keep. Looks like he's mulliganing down to six. Ooh. Bottom and start self. There we go. First turn, amulet. And we are Opening. I guess that's how you'd say it. That sounds right. Turn one amulet. That's Marsh, not Palace. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Elvish Mystic. Elvish Mystic. So how do you feel about elves in modern? Think it's uh think it's got some possibility there? Well, I think we're gonna see another amulet. Oh no. Ooh, did he forget does he have that in his main deck? Did he forget to sideboard? I think he forgot to do sideboard. I think Riley forgot to decide board. What card did he have? What do you he has engineered explosive sitting in his hand. So he does not have one main deck. Yeah, let me go uh, take care of that real quick. I'm going to pause them for a second. So if you'll stay here. Not a problem. Okay. That's weird that that's not on my list. Yeah, I'll double check it. Maybe I missed it. But could be wrong. Check right next to the amulet of figures. I will. And now he says he's running one main deck, so maybe I'm missing it. Let me look at his list again. Yeah. Uh, fuck it. Let's just go. He has one main. I'm looking at his list. Oh, there it is. It's down in... So, it's just weird where it's located on the list. But it's in his main. It's not in the artifact section. It skipped the artifacts where the amulets are. Then you have Karn. Then it's on it's the list there. The, uh, it's hiding behind it. Yeah. We found it. Just a little bit of verification. You know, even commentators make mistakes. Hey, I just wanted to make sure he didn't forget to de-sideboard. Yeah. Don't hate me for trying to keep the game state real. Have you ever done that? What's that? Forgot the D-side board. Hell, I cheated last week. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot I played a land, and then I played another land, and Tyler came in and said, hey, you played a land for the turn. And I'm like, did I? You know, that's how old I am. We all make mistakes. We're human. Well, as long as it wasn't the first land of the game. No, it was like the 20-something land. <laughs> You know, playing degenerate decks. With as much Riley misses his triggers with that deck, it wouldn't surprise me if he forgot to de-sideboard. And, and, and that's the thing. We just saw him tutor for it last game, you know, go get the engineer explosives. We yeah. wanted to make sure that the de-sideboarding happened. And where we didn't spot it right away in his artifact section on his list, you know... And I'll show it to you. I'll, would we? And in all defense, most of the time, engineered explosives is a, a sideboard card for the most part. Like that's usually where you see it. I'm trying to figure out why why it's in the main deck anyway. Hmm. Probably to stop Chalice on zero. 
That's a really good possibility. Yeah, it's good to verify. All right, elves gaining some life as David's sitting there building up a board state. One, two, three. Resolves. Pass the turn. Untapped. Upkeep. Riley not willing to pop that engineer explosives because he would lose the amulet vigor that he has on play. That's true. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, some list running one. Yep. That's a really rough spot to be in, too, right now. So what is in his hand? We have a summoner's pack, Balakut. Do that again. So he's floated four mana. He's probably going to use the summoner's pack to go get a primeval titan. He's going to cast the titan. Get some more lands. Probably give it haste. This is what the titan decks do, you know. And they do it really, really well. Two lands. And what's really neat is because of the way that he did it, if he doesn't finish off, you know, David here, he's going to be able to pay for his pact and attack again next turn. Get some more triggers. So was this a deck that you've uh, played in the past? Uh, I played it when it had Summer's Bloom, which was way more degenerate. degenerate. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? Uh, how long ago was that? Bloom was in. Five years? Four years? Now, move to combat. You know, I think I came here and played a tournament, and I was playing Infect at the time, and I remember losing to that. The last time Summer Bloom was legal, one of the players was playing an all-foiled-out amulet deck, and they won the tournament, and they sold the deck afterwards. Wow. Yeah. You know, uh, the only cards they didn't have foil was the Summer Blooms. Um, a few weeks back, I went to uh, Knoxville, and mm -hmm. my first opponent played a all-foil Russian deck. Liliana's, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, basically all your nice green-black uh, stuff. Uh, it was it was pretty. Old blockers, rather. Have you ever foiled out a deck, Randy? Yep, several times. If I was to choose a format to foil out a deck in, though, I'd probably foil out Modern. It has the longest longevity of keeping that deck together. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, so Riley keeping up mana just in case he needs to pop the explosives now that he has Titan on the field. Marsh. Marsh from David. As he's, you know, trying to figure out how he can get around this primeval titan in the way. What does he have main deck mm -hmm. to, to help him out right now? Don't know. Has he cast a collected company this game? He has not. No, he has Are not. Three. And how much is that? Is so it, he's we're looking at two, five, and seven. Okay, I'll block. The fact that Essence Warden is an elf is funny. Company. Okay. So collected company getting go. cast. Looking for some elf lords. I'm seeing. He only got one. What was that top card he's got? Looks like collar. Alright. They hit. Trigger's there. We're gonna get two life off of Essence Warden. He's got... Uh, what is the name of that card? Okay, Elvish so Chancellor? Elvish Chancellor. Never understood fully foiling out things. Personally, I prefer to just get foreign versions of things. Well, well, In what a way, about... it's kind of the same thing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's... Do you know what the... Uh, I'm going to test your uh, magic trivia, Randy. What's the uh, very first foil magic card? Oh, uh, that would be uh, Lightning Dragon. Ah, I don't Urza even know Saga. why I tried to stump you.
Which is funny because I went to one of my first pre-releases was Urza's Destiny, you know, which was the foils in you yeah. know are, are out. And uh, during the pre-release, I pulled a foil Grim Monolith, which is currently in my commander deck. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty nice. Yeah. Who knew so, it'd be uh, fourteen hundred dollar card? You know, we're we're both older right. players. Uh, <laughs> when they uh, announced that they were going to do foils, that was actually a big deal yeah. back in the day. It was. And uh, premium. Uh, I knew a lot of people who didn't like that. They were uh, comparing it to some of the more uh, uh, kiddier style games, you know. Uh, and I was uh, I was a little up on the on the fence about it. Yeah, because uh, Pokemon had foils before Magic. Yeah. Kind that, of. That was until I pulled a, a foil deranged hermit. And proceeded to use that for quite a long time. <laughs> well, well, it's funny is is I traded a foil ring of Gix. That for, was pretty pricey back in the day too. Yeah, for uh, three Mox Diamonds. I'd say that was a good deal. Yep. Speaking of Mox Diamond, it's like. Yeah. Whew, the holy, the total difference between Mox Diamond and and Ring of Gix. Ring of Gix is a bulk rare now. But at the time. <laughs> Yeah, because it was an Iscron, Isochron Scepter that cost one less. You know, we got a reader. Yeah, reading Valaku. Uh, right now, all of his lands are out. So I'm going to get Vesuva and Windswept Keep. Vesuva will copy Valaku, so I'll get 12 damage worth of triggers, and I'll send it all to you. I'm dead. Yeah, and then I'll just fetch it. And the damage goes through. Well, no, it's like a tr just yeah. goes through anyways. Yep, so there is game one. Riley, once again, showing the power of the amulet deck. Yes, but when you talk to That'll be counterproductive for me. <laughs> nah, ley lines, baby. <laughs> you good? Yeah, all right. Palace revealing mystic. Here we go. Okay. go. Cast the mystic. And the casting the mystic. Grouse. I think Palace was in the Mystery Boosters yeah. recently. Yes, it was, because that's uh, not we good. Put out of a box yesterday. Marsh. Yeah. There's a lot of good cards that are in the Mystery Edition that's Boosters. Right. So there's Elvish Archdruid. So now he's got a lot of mana. Go. To Riley's one. That's Riley like didn't odd. play a land because he, he would have had to bounce it back to his hand. He kept a one lander in hopes of Nettle drawing a non land. Oh Nettle Sentinel. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, might as well swing in for two. Swing, swing in for four. He's trying to get on the beat plan. I don't know. Riley uh, needs to draw something soon. Uh, I, th I think very fast. I think David should have held up mana to, to uh, resolve a collective company right there. Elvis Archdruid could have casted it by himself because there's four elves on play. So there's an amulet. Now Riley's going to play this. It's going to untap. He does have a engineered explosives in hand. Bounce this. Cast Sucker Tribe Scout. Engineered explosives on one. Second Tribe Scout. Engineered explosives on one. I'm not really scared of engineered explosives on one. In fact, I want Riley to pop it because he has an amulet out. Colin 1515, welcome to the stream. How you doing tonight? Cavern, maybe an elf. <laughs> You know, this was the same scenario last game where he had amulet and engineer Protect explosives that. on one, mm -hmm. and probably had to let it sit there for at least a turn. <laughs> so he's decided to turn everything to the left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Damage coming towards Riley if he chooses not to block. He could take nine, go down to seven. Honestly, yeah. I think this is the best thing he could do. And yeah. oh, collective company, collective company. Two, hopefully two lords here. There's a Rex Sage. Oh, and we have. Two lords. Oh, oh no no no. Uh, so uh, ooh, I think we see the death. Yep. All right. He's got to put the other cards. Rex Sage target. Dang, bro! Mm. Come on. And then two, three, four, five, six. Shaman. So he's gonna take six nine. from Shaman. So I'm taking fifteen on the one. And then he's gonna take cast. And he's down to a, one. Yeah. That was a really good collective company. Yes, it was. Rex Age and, and Shaman of the Pack. Getting in there for some damage. Shaman of the Pack is what really puts the green puts Coco Green Elves really good. Uh, Shaman is the one that they lose life equal to the number of elves or creatures. 
Yeah, I'm Am trying I right? to bring it. I'm trying to bring it up. So when we look at Shaman of the Pack, okay, when it enters the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to the number of elves you control. It's a 3-2 as well, so it's pretty hefty for 3 mana. Was that a uh, originally out of Origins? Uh, Origins, yep. I think I remember drafting that card a few times. It's pretty good. He's going to blow up engineered explosives, but that's not enough. And they're going to go to game three because Riley realizes that he's dead on the crack back either way. So David evened it up. Uh, the other thing is is that one of the things that hurts elves the most is the fact that Glimpse the Unthinkable is banned in modern. If Glimpse the Unthinkable wasn't banned, uh, elves would be tier one. Glimpse of nature, I'm sorry. Not glimpse of unthinkable, but glimpse of nature. Thanks, Jarrett. You corrected me. You were throwing me off there for a minute. I know. I was, I was trying to get my gears turning. It's the one whenever you play a green spell, a green creature spell, or a green creature spell draw a card. It's what makes legacy elves as good as it is. Yes. And we're going to look. It's usually Titan, Shadow, etc. Yeah. So what would you say is the best deck in modern right now? Uh, the Death Shadow decks are pretty efficient. One of the cards that I think needs to be banned in the Death Shadow deck is Stubborn Denial. Because of Stubborn Denial, it's able to protect it. its creatures get really quick, very fast. They have uh, huge utility in counters and discard. Mm -hmm. You know, they there's four color Death Shadow, there's three color Death Shadow, there's two color Death Shadow. All different variations of it, but Death Shadow being one of the, the major archetypes when it comes to the format. So if you were to sit down in a modern tournament, that would be the uh, one deck that you yourself would, uh, you're looking out for, that you're, you're preparing for. Yep. I, I personally think uh, the next deck is Eldrazi Tron. Eldrazi Tron, Tron with, uh, if they can get down a turn two chalice on one, yeah. it, it kind of hurts the amulet decks and the uh, Death Shadow decks. Mardu Pyromancer's the... Colin. Did you just say Mardu Pyromancer is the best deck in your opinion? Mardu Pyromancer. I'm not familiar with this one. Supreme either. Pros, thank you for following us. As always, you're welcome to battle at the front line. Supreme Pros. So, uh, what is Mardu Pyromancer? Uh, basically, young pyromancer um, and probably Montessori mentor. Mm. You know, I was going to ask you a question about modern, Randy, and I might as well do it on camera. Sure. Um, don't you usually do a major modern tournament sometime during the summer? I usually try, either a Star City Games or a... Uh, WPN qualifier. Pioneer is kind of what the format is right now, mm -hmm. but that's going to get delayed. So we're going to have to see what the format is when COVID-19 is is allowed to get back to what we need to get back to. Yeah. Three land drops with Azusa, Lost but Seeking. I play that as a commander card. It's so great. And almost broken. Yes, this is live gameplay from the shop currently right now. Unless you control four skeletons.
We are getting some of this yeah. back. All right, so I had to step away for a second. Sorry about that. All right. We have a summoner's pact in hand. Yeah, because he went and transmuted with Teleria West. He's probably going to try to go off next turn. Is he going to get a next turn? Uh, what is in David's hand right now? Thanks for it. Ooh. Oh, is shaman. that a shaman of the pack? All right, so turn everything to the left, or just cast the Shaman so you don't have to worry about blockers. So the big difference between Azusa and the Dryad is Azusa is a pretty small. This is what, a 2-3? Or a 1-2. One, two. One, two. So it being a 1-2 makes it very difficult compared to a 2. For You get one additional land drop, Yeah. but the, the Dryad's way better. You know, that's amazing all this time. Uh, I always thought the Zuzu was more problematic and never really. It, was, it, it was, dies uh, to shock. Yeah. So we're gonna yeah. turn everything sideways. Okay. Get in. Do we want to damage? No blocks. Go to damage. Well, blockers. I suppose. Blocks. Green black elves might be getting there. Alright. So we're gonna damage. Are you surprised at how well this is running? Yeah. Second um, This will be the nail in the coffin. And Mystic. What? Oh, one. Oh, okay. Block. He wanted to get one more extra damage in. Yeah. <laughs> Slow oh, rolled him. Man. Slow rolled him. Slow rolled him with the damage. Yeah. Riley, look and at Riley Riley's face. Riley knows he's been booted <laughs> off. Elves getting there. Elves gets to stay on. Yeah. But all right, folks, we're going to be right back as we saw the slow roll moment right there. 